Welcome back to the Every Fresh Situation Today's Today's class, I'm going to be learning how to make this beautiful, fully beaded butterfly blouse with frills. It's a very beautiful blouse tutorial and it's very simple to make. You can pair this with trouser like we have here, or you pair with a skirt. Whichever one is fine and it's a really lovely design as you have seen. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So I'm using this entire fabric for this and then for the inside at the center I'm going to be using this black satin for that. So to fold my Ankara fabric I'm going to be folding it using the length of my Ankara. So Ankara is 45 inches in length you can see so I'm going to fold this into two and that is going to be the length of my blouse. Remember this blouse has frills all around it, it has some pleats all around it. So now half of my ankara is going to be for front and half of the length is going to be for the blouse for the back so remember it's 45 inches so i have 22 and a half inches here so whatever length that you want to work with for this you have to add um, your frills to make up your length let's say you want to work with a total length of 26 inches for the length of your blouse so now this ankara that we have now is 22 and a half inches so you just had whatever it is that you need to make up the 26 inches so that's the fabric you're going to cut for your frills to make it up so now i have folded this into two and then the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold into four because i'm not going to be having any shoulder joining to this okay so if you are going to Hard zipper to yours you may need to fold it separately so that you can give allowance for your zipper but for me i'm not going to be adding a zipper to this so that's why i'm folding it to four like this and the measurement i'm going to be using to fold the width is my shoulder measurement my shoulder is 16 divided by 2 is 8 so i have 8 inches here and then the next is my elbow measurement which is 12 inches okay so i think i have more than that i'm just going to scrape it off because i don't want it too long so i hope you understand the measurement you just you fold by two for your length in this case i just decided to use the length of my ankara which was 45 inches then after folding into two i had 22 and a half which is going to be one for front and one for back and then for the width the measurement you're going to use to fold the width is your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve length which in this case was 8 inches for shoulder and 12 inches for sleeve which was 20 inches so i have 20 inches here by 40 in by sorry by 22 and a half inches on fold so for my neck width i'm going to be working with three and a half inches i don't want it too wide and i'm still going to pipe it so you can work it three and a half inches or three inches or four excuse me if you don't mind this being white so i have three and a half inches here and then the depth for the back i'm going to be working with remember there is no zipper so it has to be big enough for your head to pass through so for my back i think i'm going to be working with four inches and then for the front i'm going to be working with around five inches to five and a half inches okay that's fine for me and then i'm going to connect that okay so for my front for my back i want to reduce this to three inches okay that's still going to take my back the back does not i'm not going to be putting bits on the back so i don't want it too wide so this is my three inches depth and then for the front remember i worked with five and a half inches a little bit deeper than the back so now i'm going to connect my front neck as well Okay, so yours can be wider than this, but because I'm still going to be sewing the inside to it, that's like half an inch, so it's still going to make it broader. That's why I just want to leave it like this, so that it's not be too wide. So now, the next thing you need to do is to decide how wide you want that center line to be. So for me, on the hem here, I want it to be around 2 inches. I remember this is on fold, so by the time you open it up, it's going to be 1 inch. By the time you... Put it on fold by one inch by the time you open this it's going to be two inch so i'll just go ahead now and mark one inch on the hemline it can be as wide as you want but i want mine to be around hem one inch so now from this hem i'm going to connect it to the to this part okay this center part here this neckline i don't want it to be to get to the upper part so where you have like a flat line here 
that's why I'm connecting it to diagonally. So I'm just going to mark from here to here. I want to use my tape to get a straight line first because my ruler is not that long. So from there, I'm just going to connect this with the hem and then I'll go ahead and cut it out and then replace with my black plain fabric. So you make sure you blend this in very well with what you have coming from the upper part. Okay, so that's what I have here. Now I'm going to bring my scissors. So the first one I'm going to be cutting is the back neckline. Then I'm going to separate it to cut out my front neckline as well. So now you can just give it a little notch at the shoulder points. Remember, there is no seam there, so you don't want to get confused. So now after notching it, I'm going to open it out so that I can cut my front as well. So I'll match the notch together and then I'm going to arrange it well. So after dividing it like that, I'll go ahead and then cut this center piece that I have. Okay, remember it stops here. So I'll cut the neck line as well. So now this part, you are going to go ahead and cut it on your plain fabric. And then I'm going to add a financial inch allowance on both sides. Remember, I did not have allowance for this. That's why my neckline is so narrow. So I'm just going to sew it by around half an inch or quarter as well. So if you're adding, if you are sewing by quarter, it means you are going to add quarter of an inch to this. So now I'll just bring in my plain fabric and place this on it and it cut exactly what I have. Okay, so now I have cut it out and you can see the little allowance that I added on it. So you don't need too much plain fabric for this. So this is what I have now. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew it to the front. So I just want to show us for your for your main bodies, you can leave it four corner like this, or you can decide to remember this is the center fold. So on this high edges, you can decide to just curve it a bit, okay, to give it that round curve. By the time you by the time you attach your your frills, okay. So you can leave it this four corner or you can just decide to just give it this beautiful curve so that by the time you you create that frizz you just have that curve there whichever one is fine i think i'm just going to make it curve like this and then see what it looks like and see that i'm not cutting too much i'm just giving it a little bit of that style line so you can see what i have now you can see that it's a little bit curved so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew my front together remember we have cut something out of the front now so i'm going to go ahead and replace it so i'll just place it like this and then pin them together and then sew before i come back to show us how to attach the fruit so what you just need to do is very simple it's not like a v neckline so since we are cutting it we have cut it through it's not going to be difficult to join so just like we have it here that is exactly how you are going to sew them together so i am going to sew it now i can see that it's very simple to sew you just need to sew it straight as you can see and this is what we have okay so before i iron it this is the front and this is the back so this is the neck measurement that i have and this can easily pass through my head so now if you want to line this with your i did not cut two of these to line because i want to turn everything with my bias you can also cut a facing to do this but if you want to line this separately all you just need to do is to cut two of these then use them to turn each other so that this neckline will be neatly finished then after that you sew it just like we sewed to the Ankara, then you find a way to make sure all this place is neat as well. But because there's no insert at the back and it's not going to be easy for me to just fold it inwards, that's why I just decided to cut it this way and then I'm going to use my bias to turn the neckline neatly. Okay, so that's how I'm going to be finishing my neckline. Like I said, you can also cut facing for that. So this is what we have now, and you can see the shape. That we have for this is not straight it's just a little bent because of the cut that we give it right there so to cut out the place that we are going to put around it all you need to do is to measure around all this space that you have so to make it easier i'm just going to fold it again into four so after folding it into four you can see what i have so what i'm going to do now is to take my tape now 
and then measure all around this around the hem that's where you are placing your plate so i have about 35 inches there so this 35 inches because it's folded into four i'm going to multiply that into four and then i'll have i think around seven i'll have about 140 inches okay 140 inches that is the total measurement that i'm going to have so now depending on how full you want your place to be this 140 you can multiply it by two inches or by three inches depending on how full you want your place to be if you multiply by one by two inches you're going to be having two eight uh, by two you have 20 inches so what you need to do now is to go ahead and cut a long fabric of 20 inches of course your hair may not be that long so you're just going to cut and then join together just like i have done for mine you can see i've joined it together and then the width that i'm looking using for my pleat is six inches so because i have turned it inwards that's why you have about five and quarter i have gone ahead to hem it on the lower part so that it can be neat i hope my camera can focus this so it is hemmed on the lower part so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and place this all around this hem okay i'm just going to pleat it all around the hem you can also cut this into two so that i can turn it neatly but that's going to consume a lot of fabric so i'm not going to be turning it that's why i just go i went ahead to hem it on the lower part and this place is what i'm going to be placing so you just take it you can pleat it separately or you pleat directly as you go so what you want to do is to start pleating this to the to the hem to the edges of your of your dress okay so you just pleat like this all around so i'll go ahead and pleat it and then turn the neckline and then i'll bring you back to show us what we have okay so i've gone ahead to pleat it right you can see my pleatings all around here and then this is the other one and then you can see the shape that we have there so if you do not shape yours it will just come straight like this and then go like that okay it's just going to be a form of a square of a form of a rectangle it's not going to be curved like this which is also fine so this is my neckline as well you can see that it is neat now because i have gone ahead to pipe the neckline as well so you make sure you iron everything down especially the place you can see how the plate is just forming very well if you sew it it's still going to be puffy so you need your iron to control it so that it can be puffy like this so this is our center line you can see that it is neatly ironed as well and it's looking really neat so i just want to bring it close so that we can see what the full view looks like so now what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and shape this so to shape it you just need to put it on fold we are going to shape it externally okay so i'm putting it on fold like this and what i'm going to do is to arrange it well then after that i'm going to get my arm opening which is almost the same as your sleeve your arm hole measurement so in this case it's just going to be a little bigger my arm hole normally is around eight and a half inches so i'm just going to open this by 10 inches okay you can see i had it like one and a half inches but i had one inch as well so now after marking it on that point from the center front you're going to mark your bust measurements my bust is 44 divided by 4 is 11 so this is 11 you can start to add a little ease to it so i'm going to mark it at 12 inches okay so now from this 12 inches here if it is really long and it's getting to your hip you can take your hip measurements so you can just sew it in a diagonal form like this i don't want to mark too much on it because this is the right side of my fabric so this is how i'm going to be sewing it so what i have here i'm just trying to get it on the other side as well or you can just turn it to the other side and then the same measurement that you have taken here you're going to take it on the other side as well so i have 10 inches here and here i'm marking 11 inches plus one which is so and then from there i'm going to just take it down like this if you want it really pretty you can just measure your hip and then take it to your hip so what i'm going to do now is to open it back and then i'll take this to my same sewing machine and then sew like this so you can sew into your piece if you want or you can just stop it at this place okay just sew from here to here and then from here to here so i'll go ahead and sew this now so i've gone ahead to sew it now and our dress is ready 
So if you are not going to be the yours, it is ready for you to wear now. You can actually pair this with your skirt. You can sew a skirt with your Kara fabric or you sew a trouser with it. And with the blouse is really very cute. You will see it when we put it on the mannequin. So now the next thing I'm going to do for mine is to start to be this. So I'm going to be using this cross to do this and I'm going to be beading along this plain fabric line. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and bead it. There's a special tutorial on how to bead. So if you don't know how to bead this, you can go ahead and watch that video. But this video is already long, so I'll just go ahead and bead it. And by the time I finish beading, I'm going to bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so the blouse is fully beaded now. And like I said, I use plastic pearl beads. So you can use um, crystal beads if you want, depending on the amount you are willing to spread on the dress but you can see how beautiful and gorgeous this is looking okay so these are the pleats that we took around this and like i said a detailed tutorial on how to beat this is already uploaded on the channel so if you don't know how to do this neatly you can see that the beading is very very neat so if you don't know how to do this i'll drop the link in the comment section down below so you can go there and then watch the detailed tutorial i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful blouse with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye